here's the thing you have to remember about uh, the Russian military. You know, I know you're worried, um, Miltus, about you know, being Estonian, about the Russian, you know, in, in, in a Russian invasion of your country. Here's, there's a couple reasons why you shouldn't have to necessarily worry about that, and why it's um, not going to be that big of an issue for you, for you guys. One, it, Estonia is a NATO member state. At least, is it NATO? May I say, Estonia NATO. Yeah, no, no. Estonia is a, a NATO member state. And Article 5 of NATO, which basically says if you fight one of us, you fight all of us, is going to deter Russia. No matter how big for his britches Putin might get, Ukraine has shown, and the invasion of Ukraine has shown, that just Western resources alone are enough to completely stall the Russian um, the Russian state in, in terms of militarily. Not only that, but the, but the fact that you know, Russia would bow, boast for years that it could, that the great Russian bear could fight off uh, all of NATO uh, at the same time, and plus the United States at the same time. It's just patently not true. Ukraine's not even a member state, a NATO member state with NATO training, or at least it didn't start so, and, and its guerrilla tactics alone were enough to completely stonewall. Russia's still in the in the capture stage. They're not even in the... Um, What's the phrase? They're not even in the uh, occupation point yet, which would be even harder. The fact is, is, is that um, the 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 premise, at you know, at the very least, of the um, of Russia being able to actually like fight, just do what they've boasted and fight the entirety of the West at the same time, is not true. The Russian army has shown that it, it it's too weak to do that. And that, and that also comes down to, like, if they did fight everybody um, in NATO, um, uh, is, is that, uh, you know, functionally, it, it, Russia knows that if it would turn into a military conflict, they'd be overrun. You know, the resources alone for, of NATO to support Ukraine was enough to stall them. And then, if you have the combined military strength of arms, it's 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 a done deal. And also, it's not the full strength; it is our excess. It is what we were using. It is the it is the military equipment that was this, that was on the pe on the cutting edge thirty years ago. You know, like they're not like Ukraine's not getting new things. Ukraine's not getting like the fanciest and most powerful things. Even the um, the F one. Um, even the um, even the uh, F-16, you know, like the you know the big shiny big boo ooh unga bunga like all that shit. Even that one itself is a um, is like 10, 15 years you know old in regards to like how new it is. We don't need like like the thing like there are some things that America has that we as citizenry do like they got fucking laser guns or some shit like they've got some goofy ass shit that we don't have access to. And, um, or that we don't, like, know exist yet. And, and they're not going to show it, you know, at least probably until America, for some reason, gets in a war with China or some shit. Um, the other thing that which you noted, um, uh, you said that, uh, your, uh, your, your, your people are better trained. Absolutely. Because you have to remember that, um, in the, uh, you know, in, over the last 20, 30 years of Putin's, uh, reign over over Russia, you know that he is you know your quintessential strongman, and the problem with being a quintessential strongman is that you have to be afraid of another stronger appearing man coming up and taking your spot from you. And in lieu of that, the only place that that was really going to come up from was the was the military. So what happened was is is that. The uh, Russian military, which was used to be the most one of the most feared, you know, military entities in the world, ended up becoming a place for people, for like young men to, you know, maybe get a security license for their job, or you know, some place where like if you just didn't know what the fuck you were gonna do with your life, you just went into the military and you figured it out, and 
people that stayed in the military for long periods of time were perceived are perceived in Russian society as you know failures on an individual level like there was nothing better you could do so you stayed in the army of all things you know it's one of those types of cases and so because of you know that being the case uh in the Russian military um what ends up happening is this is that you know, yeah, he, the, the potential, like, for Vladimir Putin to get, like, overthrown in, like, a coup or whatever is minimized. But, you know, you also get a military that is ineffectual, not respected, and, you know, you're, in, you're just not going to have a good time in that regard. You know, which is good for us and good for Ukraine because, you know, like, all of the people that would are invading them are not as well trained are, are about as well trained as the motherfuckers um as uh that are on the ground in ukraine and you know because you know russia you know the the kd the, the kdr between russia and ukraine is like let's be honest really fucking different you know there are certain things that just don't have to be worried about um you know for ukraine ukraine loses I think last the last number I saw and quote and, and fact check me on this and my, this number might not be entirely correct. Um, I think it was like it was like two to three Russians are lost for every uh, Ukrainian soldier lost, which is like you know works for Russia now because they've got an insane amount of people living in their country. I mean not insane, nowhere near as much as like when it was the USSR, but even so, the fact that they are doing penal legions now like people who are in prison it's it's insane it's it's insane and there's a reason why um the leader of Wa of, of wagner you know who who got fucking killed by putin because of course he did because he tried to coup the motherfucker um you know was perceived as like a potential like strong man as a potential like oh you're we're going to go do the, the thing we're going to like have a new russian state with we'll, we'll just leak old bullshit with putin like, it failed, ultimately, because at the end of the day, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the leader of Wagner didn't want to rule Russia. He just wanted to, like, go have hot boy summer in Africa and kill a bunch of black people and shit. And that was, that was all he wanted to do. You know, he wanted to take his Wagner group and go pillage Russia and, you know, steal wealth and shit. That's all he wanted to do. And he couldn't do that for as long as, um... And he couldn't do that for as long as the war in Ukraine was going on because they needed the manpower. And so that's what happened. Hello, Todd. What's going on? Yeah. Well, you know, the funny thing about, you know, the funny thing is at the end of the day, I think Estonia is going to be fine. Like Estonia, like it, it has NATO membership. It's got, it's been, it's, 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 it's soldiers are better trained and better equipped than any of the Russians could be. So yes, while they might be fighting an uphill battle in regards to manpower, ultimately at the end of the, at the end of the day, they're gonna, they're gonna be fine. Not perfect, not fantastic, not wonderful, but you know what, like at the end of the day, because there's more NATO equipment in the country and there has been NATO investment in the country already, you know, your your country is going to be okay. Russia's not going to be able to invade Estonia and do... Because if they, if they weren't... Listen, if they weren't able to do it with Ukraine, when Ukraine barely like, was just doing in the first, you know, couple weeks when they didn't have the equipment that they needed and it was just guerrilla tactics, they're not going to be able to do it with Estonia, who has been preparing for this for a very, very long time. So things might be scary and things might be rough, but because, you know, at the end of the day... Uh, Vladimir Putin is an ineffectual leader, he who has gimped the internal strength of the Russian state, and because um, functionally at the end of the day, um, Estonia is a member state. Um, even if Estonia does get nailed, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of troops coming from all over the world to Estonia to help beat back the Russian mammoths. So you so your guys are going to be fine. You're not necessarily going to get hung up dry. And even if Article 5 is not practiced and you guys are left hung up dry, everything that's been shown by the Russians at this point means that the Estonia is going to be is going to be able to hold their own. And 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 I think I think if 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 Putin decided to 
start an invasion of Estonia simultaneous with the invasion of Ukraine, I think he probably would. I think he, he. I think that would probably be enough for him to have something in his. It's something put into his drink. I'm just saying. The oligarchs are fed the fuck up with him. He doesn't really like. He's. He needs to get some sort of like, um, optics win of some sort. Otherwise, like he's 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 off. He's um. I already understand he's old and he's probably recovering from a stroke, but like he doesn't have that long if he if he doesn't fix his shit. So, but yeah, Estonia's Estonia's gonna be okay. You know, it might maybe not uh, fantastically. You know, it might be scary, but um, for everything I've said, you know, Russia is nowhere near as strong as they they proclaim themselves to be, and. I th and no, no, and y'all have NATO tier equipment, so your militaries are gonna be fine, and they better train, and they're preparing for it actively. Which, you know, they're not gonna get like an element. Russia's not gonna be able to do its um, blitzkrieg element of surprise type of like stuff. Which I know, I know, I know the Germans didn't come up with blitzkrieg, and I know that's not the proper name for it, but I don't have another name for it because I'm stupid. I'm sorry. And of course, the worst fucking time it could have broken. Worst fucking time it could have broken. God damn it. <laughs> 